Welcome back to another vlog. I think we are in the 30s now. We're in vlog 30 something. They're just absolutely flying by. It's Tuesday. It is almost quarter to one. I had the dinner of champions, which was chicken super noodles. Because that's all we've got in. Oh, kettle's just boiled. I'm going to make myself a biscuit brew. If you have not heard of this, it is Yorkshire tea. I've made tea bags that taste like having a cup of tea with biscuits, but without the biscuits. They're called biscuit brews. I have just recently discovered them. I have a massive hole in my leg. Oh, I have a massive hole in my leggings. <laughs> just thought I'd tell you that. So I've got a lot to get through this week. So I've got a wedding fair at the end of the week. I am heading back down to Birmingham. We set off on Saturday and we're there Saturday and Sunday for the show and then we come back Sunday night. I only have the peacock cake ready, which you've seen in the last vlog. If you have not seen my last vlog, go and take a look at that. I painted a very dusty, very damaged dummy. And I think it's just about usable. All the other dummies are sat there uncovered, apart from one, which I will show you how far I've got with it. So here it is. Um, you might recognise this. This is a tutorial now on YouTube, which is the glittery geometric bottom tier. Then I have put some texture on the middle tier and a plain white tier. As you can tell, they're a little bit rushed because I then have this huge one, this one and this one to do. Everything's a little bit of a mess. There's bowls of chocolate and magnets everywhere. I'm gonna try and get this one finished today if I can. What I'm finding difficult is because I haven't planned them beforehand, I'm not I've just made this up as I'm going along, which is why it's very slow. <laughs> Instead of just drawing it, getting it done, I'm very indecisive on it, so it's taking a while. Here is the peacock one that you'll have seen from the last vlog. I just thought the lighting might be a little bit better for you to see it. Repainted all the gears in metallics and painted his tail. He's sat next to a rather large collection of other plain dummies. And here is my sign. Um, this blue and yellow, obviously I painted that with the acrylic paints and the black as well. The pink I was very impatient about and added <laughs> pink airbrush colour to white acrylic. It got left in the conservatory whilst I was away and now it has faded. This is the only one that has faded so I'm assuming it is the airbrush that's faded because everything else is fine. That will teach me from being very impatient. But you can always learn a lesson from things I knacker up. And that's make sure you always use acrylic paint. <laughs> but it's up there now. As you can see, there's no wires or anything holding it up. It's held on with magnets on the back. And I have these big white drapes that I got from, I think they were either Amazon or eBay. Can't quite remember, but I will link them below if you're interested in them. At least it's a nice flowy material. Also, I ran out of my regular weekly planner pad, so it comes in a pad of 52 for the 52 weeks. Now, my last one was, it went across Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way down, and then the notes section was actually at the bottom there. It ran out, and I live by these things. I have everything I'm doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so Tuesday will say bake 8 inch, Wednesday will be ganache 8 inch, um, and I write on all the different cakes, what days they're being collected or what we're delivering and then obviously there's all the other family stuff in between. Parents evening, school trips, when to pay dinner money, dentist appointments, pick up the missing ingredient for tea, all the different things like that. Um, so I ordered this one on eBay, it was really cheap, it was about £2.50 but it was a bit of a potluck of which one you got out of the four designs and I'm just not loving it because my boxes aren't big enough. My to-do list is very, very big, so I need very, very big boxes, and they've wasted the entire pad by using all this top section to have a big graphic and big typography. So yeah, not loving this one. So if anybody comes across one where the boxes are full all the way along and it fills the page, that would be very helpful. And just sat on the school run, like I said, it gives you a little bit of time to yourself and I need a new bag. Yes, the last one I got, the button broke on it and now it won't close. I'm on the hunt for another crossbody bag because mine is falling to bits. And if you don't believe me, I will show it you when I get in because it is really, really bad. I can also buy some scalpel handles. 
because a lot of them have gone missing. Mm, I don't know which one to get. Morning, so here is my bag. <laughs> As you can see, it has had better days. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I leave all these little black things wherever I go. You can see where I've been. I'm pretty sure they were all over Cake International. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It is ridiculous. So yeah, when I say I need new things, this is usually the state it's in before I replace it. <laughs> but I haven't got any other bags. So I ordered some bags last night on Amazon. I'm going to see what they're like when they get here. And I also finished a cake dummy. Here it is. Nothing like I started out making. <laughs> I really did make this one up just as I went along and this is what came out. <laughs> bit random. Um, this is one of the planer ones that's going on my stand because um, obviously when you're at a wedding fair what you want to do is show a range of cakes. So your cheaper end wear something simple right up to something really detailed where it's going to be more expensive. That way you can point out to the couples which are the dearer, which are the cheaper and what sort of cakes they can get for their budget. So this is on one of the cheaper ones. If anybody wonders why I always have this tip holder in the corner of the cupboard, that's because it's to hold the door. So it sits in there like that. I close the door and it holds it open. That's just to let air in. If I fully seal it off, I don't want it to sweat. So I'll leave the door open a little bit. So yeah, that's one down and roughly three to go and it's already Wednesday. Before I even get to another dummy today, I have this to contend with. So this is the curtain pole for the wedding fair that's been sat up in the living room. And this is the state of my desk. It's an absolute mess. They say tidy room, tidy mind. This is pretty much a great representation of what my brain kind of looks like right now. I'm going to be sat at this desk for a few hours. I have lots of emails to get through first. So let's get started. Boom, got my emails done. And now this cake is sat here taunting me, waiting to be covered. This one I think I'm going to base on Dark Crystal. I know I've already made a Dark Crystal cake before. It was a long time ago. This one is just something a bit more simplified rather than having lots of characters on it though, so. I may film the bottom of this as a tutorial because a lot of people want to know how I do the Rocky effect. So I'll see if I've got time to do that. It's now five o'clock and this is what I have so far. So I did manage to video this. It's a foam core top, isn't it always? That has been textured, airbrushed and some crystals thrown at it. So hopefully this will appear on YouTube soon. I have also covered the six inch and the four inch that's going on top of it. I did the school run. I have packaged some packages and they're at the post office. And we have parents evening for Abby tonight at quarter past six. So I have an hour to kill and I can't paint these because they're still too soft. This is my rubbish little quick drawing I did. And this is the one I'm making. So this is the cave that I've just done at the bottom. If you haven't seen Dark Crystal, you won't have a clue what these are. These are Nurlocks from the Netflix series. It's gonna have the crystal on it, the tree on the top. I'm not sure where to put the gelflings yet. These little snowmen looking thing with arms. It's just to give me a rough idea of like the sizes to use really more than anything. This one I've drawn, which is like an 80s, 90s kind of match my logo is just a two tier not sure about this one i've changed all the sizes for this one drew one on the other page there's technical <laughs> drawings on it broken glass i don't know if i'm actually going to be able to get this one done and as you can see the one that's in the living room is very different to this i was going to put some like tassel bunting on they were just going to be regular skulls like a cherry and drips and that's completely changed so yeah, this is this is all I'm working on at the minute. This is what I should have had done today. There was no chance I was getting this done in one day. Hopefully it'll be finished tomorrow though. It is 8.27 a.m. I've just got back from the school run. I had to drop Abby off a little bit earlier this morning because she's off to the cinema to watch Mary Poppins with school. Last night we did the parents' evening. Then we went to McDonald's for tea. It would have been far too late to cook anything. Everybody was starving. And then I coloured those top two tiers, stuck it together and finished another tier. However, it is now Thursday. I have two days left and three dummies to complete. That is not happening, is it? So here is where we've got to with the other one. They're now stacked on top of each other and stuck with chocolate. So this needs finishing. 
This has probably got the most detail on it, so I'm going to be working on this one today to try and get this one finished. And then last night I covered this one. I have done this as a tutorial as well. This is the 80s, 90s one, hopefully. Nice and colourful. Right, so I'm just making a start on the tree on the top. You'll have to excuse the rain. It is right next to the conservatory and it is very loud. So what I've done is stuck a kebab stick with three wires and I've attached them together with tape. Push that down inside the dummy and then I've got these three things to play with up here to hold the mass, like the leafy bit of the tree. You can bend these wires out and I'm just going to create some loops to kind of hold the tree. So I'm just bending them around. I completely make this up as I go along. <laughs> there is no set way to doing this. I'm just bending the wires to kind of create these little platforms for the leafy parts to sit on to hold the weight. The gauge is 18 I think for this, there's no... You can pretty much use anything you want as long as it's strong enough to hold. So yeah, I have this weird platform now just made up of different loops. And I think I'm going to bulk it out with some tin foil and some masking tape. To some people it might seem strange to bulk things up with tin foil and masking tape, but that, that's actually how a lot of figures start in clay modelling. It keeps it lightweight and also doesn't use up a lot of costly materials. So I'm just going to scrunch this tin foil to give a bit of shape to the tree. You can bulk it out with polystyrene balls. I use lots of different things depending on what I've got to hand at the time. So I'm just wrapping around that, around the wire so it holds it. You see it's starting to take shape already. The tree that I'm making is quite flat and wide. It's not like a big bushy one. So I'm aiming just for this sort of shape, keeping it quite flat, because obviously there's got sugar paste to go on it as well. So to keep that in place, I'm then using some masking tape and just covering and wrapping it around the whole thing to hold it. I think you will have guessed by now, every cake I make, I just wing it. Just whack it on and hope for the best. that it's time for the score run again the tree is now done i have also started work on the nurlocks they need eyes in the little antenna things and they also need shading and the insides of the mouth doing i have got the bodies of deet and rian done they need their heads and their hair and a bit more of the costume the crystal is on i'm not i'm not happy with the crystal it should have been bigger and it sticks out too far but <laughs> I have not got time to change it now. It is on. It'll have to stay that way. I'm hoping to get in and finish that and beavering away on it and it just seems to be taking forever. And then I have the top tier of that 80s slash 90s Memphis one to do. So with any luck, I might have two cakes done today. <laughs> But I might be being a bit ambitious there. So as you know, I come down to school early to get a parking space because it is absolute bedlam, which means I have some time to kill. So this is a good opportunity to get your phone out, go on YouTube and learn something new. So I could look at interior photography because I really like photography and I like interior design, but I can never get any good pictures of anything inside the house because it's not lit right, so I could learn that. I would like to have a go at needle felting, I would like to have a go at sewing, maybe some cake tutorials to watch, so use it any time you can because it is precious and find something on YouTube to watch. Morning, I downed tools last night at half past nine, I think it was. The dark crystal cake is finished, we had chippy for tea. It's no good eating all these takeaway things. We don't have time to cook. So we had a chippy for tea, I finished the dark crystal cake and I did the top tier of the 80s slash 90s Memphis cake. I have so much to get through today. So I've got that cake to finish. There is no way I am getting that other huge cake finished. I might have to just quickly knock up another two tier today. 
Something really simple, if I can. This morning, I have printed the names out. So this is just a piece of card with the names of the cakes on. As you can see, there's one there called Elegant Noir. It doesn't exist yet. I might not get it finished, but... I've printed it out, so I'm going to cut these out and then I fold them to make like little um, stand-up cards in front of the cake so people know what they're based on or what they're supposed to be. I have all the cakes to box up, I need a shower, I need to find something to wear over the weekend, I need to pack as we're stopping in a little hotel close by, that was just a last minute <laughs> booking. I don't even think I'm going to get around to making tasters today because I have no baking stuff. And I still have no pink tablecloth, so I'll be taking a black, my black sequin one from the black cherry cake company thing. It's just, why is everything so last minute? I've had, this is my third week of no orders, because I have obviously had Cake International, I've got the wedding fair. So they're not actual physical orders, but I've still been crazy busy. So I'm looking forward to a week off where it is actually a week off. Don't know when I'm going to get that, <laughs> but I've got to book one in somewhere. Right, I will show you the dark crystal cake. So this one is now sat in the cupboard. We've got a little fizz gig on there. Some plants of Thra. We finally got heads and hair, and the Nurlocks have been painted and shaded. I mean, this is really screaming out for a Skeksis and an Uru on either side. There, there are gaps to me. In my design brain, there are gaps here that need those two characters. And the bad thing is I do actually have two of those. They are sitting in the cupboard next to it, full of cake stands and bits of sugar figures. And here they are. We've got a Skeksis and an Uru up here. However, these are very old now. These are from 2014. They have missing hands, tails. Fingers, eyeballs. Yeah, these were from a very old competition cake in 2014 and I can't use these. And I don't have time to make them, so they're just gonna have to sit in here. And here is my colorful one that I've yet to finish. I'm gonna finish this one this morning. I've cut out the triangles for it. Again, always foam core to the rescue. So I need to cover these in, in a color. They're going up there somewhere. I mean, excuse my pink nail, I mean, when are they not dyed all different colours? And then that one will be finished and then I have got to see if I've got time to make another two tier today. Wish me luck! What was I saying about my tablecloth? I cannot believe this. Right, bit of a backstory, when I had all my logo done and stuff, I thought it would be pretty cool to have a custom tablecloth. I put together this pattern I don't even know if you can see that. <laughs> and sent it over and had this made. Now this shouldn't have gotten here until like the end of November. It wasn't planned to get here and it's just arrived. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks amazing so far. I've got a feeling it might be a little bit see-through, but that's where that really naff bit of pink <laughs> material that I bought in the last vlog might come in handy if I put it underneath. Oh my god, I can't wait to get this open and see what it looks like. I cannot believe this has just arrived now. This shouldn't even be here yet. It shouldn't even be ready yet. <laughs> oh my god, it's huge! This is amazing. I was not expecting it to be this good. Look at it! I mean, probably on camera with the window behind it does look a bit see-through. But... That is very cool. So it's lots of different coloured blobs. It matches my invoices and it has my custom cherry ship print on. Eee, I can't actually believe something this week has gone right. In my excitement, <laughs> I've forgotten. I also got given another parcel. I'm not sure what's in here. It could be scalpel handles, but it's a bit big for that. So let's get it open. Oh, it's my Christmas presents. <laughs> I asked, um, I found these on Amazon. I love a company called Sass and Bell. That's them there. I have a few bits of theirs and I really like the designs they do. And when I saw their Memphis range, yep, I had to have it. So I asked Adam if he wanted to buy me a travel mug and a matching drink bottle for Christmas. So I ordered these at the same time as my new bags and some scalpel handles and these have arrived first. 
So yeah, it says good vibes on it and it's got the black sprinkles. It's got the pink pattern, blue, yellow. I mean, it could not be more perfect. And then the travel mug, it feels like that bamboo stuff. It's not like the plastic. It may break if dropped, not suitable for the dishwasher or the microwave. So it feels like one of those bamboo ones with a silicone lid. So I shall be using these this weekend. God, I cannot believe my look right now. <laughs> Nothing ever goes this right. <laughs> What's wrong? What through me? It's <laughs> now ten past ten. I have five cakes done. The last one was super quick. I just sprayed it black, put some cracks on it, and an artificial flower, and it is done. I've been for my shower, packed up pretty much everything we can tablecloths, iPads. There's just boxes all over the floor and now I'm getting to painting my nails. Um, I did have my nails done for Cake International but that come off straight away so rummaging in my old nail polishes. I bet these are about at least five years old now. <laughs> well, we've got some blue, coral and yellow going for crazy nails. They'll probably be ruined by the morning though when we're setting up. Do the car tomorrow because it's too cold to put the cakes in. So we're going to be up, we need to set off about 6 o'clock in the morning, so just do my nails and then we're off to bed. We are in Birmingham, we've been in Birmingham all day. We got up at quarter past five this morning, that was a very early get up. Very um, early. Just a minute. Nina. <laughs> oh, it's a quiet Nina. <laughs> We got to the Bond at quarter past nine, found the table and set up. I used my tablecloth. It was a little bit short on either end, but it worked because we were next to another stand so you couldn't really see it. We put the plinths out the front, they came in really handy for storing business cards, leaflets, my phone, my diary, order forms. Um, set all the cakes up on their little plinths and everybody was asking how I managed to get my sign to stay up. They were asking if I'd used invisible thread, um, but no, they were just went up with magnets and that worked really well. It was just a bit hard getting it in the middle because once you took a magnet off, it was hard to get the drapes, but once it was up, it was up, weren't it? So we had an hour and a bit to set up and the show opened at 11 and it got very busy at some points. Um, there were people just packed in and couldn't move and it didn't shut until six. So we came out at six, drove half an hour to find our hotel, checked in at our hotel. You're not allowed any takeaways, any food or drink, no smoking, very strict rules. So we've come to find a McDonald's. So we're eating McDonald's and it is now- 20 past seven. 20 past seven and we're all just eating tea. So I got a veggie wrap and you got one of the new, is it an Italian stack? Yeah. One of the new Italian stacks. So we're gonna eat this, go back to the room, straight to bed and then start all over again tomorrow. This is our little room in the Edge, is it Edge Baston Palace Hotel. There is no smoking, no smoking. No smoking, yet the room stinks of smoke. <laughs> Wasn't us, we don't smoke. Little bathroom. So we've only, we're have only we only here for one night and we're literally only gonna spend a couple of hours and then we're out back out again in the morning.
just editing the vlog and as always needed to film a separate ending. Honestly, I don't know how you guys can do this. I was editing, watching back what I'd filmed and I almost fell asleep. <laughs> Oh, I'm so boring. But it would be good if you could let me know in the comments below which part of the vlogs that you actually like to watch so I can make sure I film what you want to see. Because I almost fell asleep. I just wanted to quickly jump on and give the vlog an ending and realise I hadn't even spoke about what I did last week. So that was obviously Cake International. Super busy. Took my camera with me and didn't even take it out of my bag for one second. It was crazy busy. So this time round I was a senior judge which meant I had to look after a few categories. And this is where I actually want to clear something up, if possible, because I've been receiving quite a lot of messages or people coming up to me saying that I had judged their piece because my name was on the sheet when I hadn't judged it. So I had a few angry people <laughs> when I said, can I, can I see your feedback sheet so I can see what the judge thought? of your piece and they say, well, you should know because you wrote it. I just want to explain the feedback sheets. It says who the head judge is and then there was a little line for who the senior judge was of that category. That wasn't the person who judged your cake. That was who is in charge of those few categories. So, for example, I judged some of the head wildcard category but didn't judge, say, the fantasy winter wonderland. Somebody else did that, but I was in charge of that category, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I just wanted to clear that up because I have received quite a lot of messages with, just from people thinking that I judged it and wrote their feedback sheet out when I hadn't. It was, it was a bit bad that I couldn't actually film anything and show you the show, but it was... If you were there, you will know how busy it was and how hectic it was. And now I'm back to some sort of normality with two cakes a week for the next couple of weeks. And then obviously we've got Disneyland coming up. I want to get excited. I'm supposed to be excited about Disneyland and I'm supposed to be excited about Christmas because these are the two things that seriously get me excited. But I've just been so busy or there's so much to sort out and so many things to fix that I haven't even got in a Christmassy mood yet. So hopefully with a, a little bit of normality after a couple of weeks of making orders again and getting into some sort of routine, I will be able to get excited about Christmas. So yeah, this vlog is super long now. I'm editing it. It's already at 25 minutes. It's going to be even longer now. So yeah, I guess I will see you in the next one, which hopefully might be a bit shorter. Bye guys.